yeah, I got a third one. Uh, these will probably be, be going up on the same day. This is basically the same box as you get with this one. This comes in a much more Spartan little, but the price reflects that. Um, this was about 120. I think that was about 120 as well. Um, let's get these other lunas away. And let's have a look. So you can already see it's the carbon fiber one. Uh, real steel Luna. And they're individually numbered again, number 217. Um, I would have had this sooner, but unfortunately they sold out of uh, stock. That's not very good. No, I mean, I don't really care, but just from a... You know. So you get the guide on how to take it apart. Get rid of that. You then get your wonderful like sort of birth card. March 2020, which number it is, carbon fiber. You can get the green or brown Makata as well. And this one comes with S35VN, which is actually really good. And you do get that to guarantee. And there you go, that's basically it. Nice enough box. And you get yourself the classic microfiber. Very Chris Reeve, this wrapping it up in the microfiber. And there we go. Look at that. Oh, that's nice. Copper. Carbon fiber and S thirty five BN. Oh, that is lovely. Yep, and it's the same style as this one. Yep, basically. Uh, except this one was stone washed. The seven six ninety, and this one is sort of brushed. If you can see, this has the same style of blade as the Heine Haynes Luna whereas the first one um, some people didn't like it because it was like sort of ultra thin and weirdly beveled so like what, what they've done is they've beveled it again at the top so it goes ultra thin whereas on this one they just haven't bothered with that so this is another one of those that would work really oh i'm actually really tempted to buy one of these now like a spare one if i can oh will it even fit on it though how odd yeah it doesn't fit on this one. Oh yeah no this so if i put all three up against each other you can see this is the thickest this one's by far the thinnest, then this one gets sort of like thinner here, but this one's sort of thicker at the end. How curious. It's quite hard to see on camera, but... So yeah, you can't actually use a hinder, hinder a thumb stud with this model. You will, of course, be able to use the... The classic. And it's going on there, and it's going to stay on there. There we go. And it's nice because it's sort of it's not too ugly on this model. And it just it just means you can carry this everywhere in the world, but also, you know, just a little quick thumb stud there. Job done. Right, let's take it apart, because of course I can't help myself. And another curious thing to note is they reversed the um, pivot on the Heine Haynes G10 one, you know, to turn the tool side to the um, non-show side. It's still on the show side on this. And, ah, oh, that's weird. So on the original, 
that you can see it doesn't pop out either side the pivot just goes straight in on this one it doesn't pop out the show side but can you see it sort of just popping out this side a little bit on this one really badly the show side and a little bit on the that's right really badly the clip side and a little bit on the show side as well um so let's before i take it apart centering is perfect and blade play nope nothing okay Yep, so it's just copper coated steel or something. And there you go. So we've got that the wonderful sort of like, you know, dual style phosphor bronze washers like come on, like that. So that they you know, they catch some of the lubricant and you can see it's cut off at the bottom to you know socket into this carbon fiber which also is cut out at the bottom to accept that stop pin yeah otherwise it's you know just the same as the this is just one flat slab in the on the inside Oh, it's very well done though. I'm I'm a big fan of that carbon fiber. But again, it just looks like a pen in the pocket clip. And this really doesn't weigh a lot. Let's have a quick comparison with the I know this is a bit weird for a first impressions video, but so this one is 92. This one is just about the same place, 83, mm -hmm. and this one, 79. Yeah, they're all different thicknesses, so you, the blades probably aren't interchangeable. Um, if you just look at... Stop that to behave. Like the blade thickness there on the by the jimping, it's all over the place. So uh it's not like they've been lazy with this. But yeah, absolute props to um you know, Poltergeist works uh, really, really good knives. I um, mean, in three different materials S35VN, N690, and D2 at varying price points. Uh, you can't really go wrong with a Luna. Um, I would really recommend at least picking this one up because it's it's such a comfortable knife in hand. Oh yeah. They're all so good. What I will say is that this is the action on this Heine one, the G10, is noticeably less smooth than these two. And that will be because the phosphor bronze washers in these two are those sort of, you know, two phosphor bronze washers with holes in it to catch the grease and that lot. So they rub against each other rather than the material. This is just one standard phosphor bronze washer, which is, you know, great. But you can definitely feel this is a little, you know, this isn't as smooth as, as these, which are just wonderful. I will say as well, the walk and talk on this is worse than the, the titanium's got the best walk and talk of the lot. 
Anyway, there you go. <laughs> Those are my Lunas. Very, very happy with them. Thank you very much. Cheers.